Hey, fabulous team. So it's a gorgeous day on a Monday. I'm at the park. I've got my sitter at home. This is awesome. I love it. I'm doing my power hour, my power threes, working with some of my coaches. So this is our video, our team video for the week of just some things I think that is really going to help you guys out. So I like to look at your Facebook page as if you remember your very favorite celebrity back in the day, which for me, it was Joey from New Kids on the Block. I'm showing my absolute age right now. And I remember being obsessed with him, right? So I wanted to know everything about Joey from New Kids on the Block. Yeah, so what if we were on Facebook back then, right? Yeah, I wanna know what workout he's doing. So you absolutely, every day need to be posting your workout and the workout that you're doing. Um, I was, but I wanted more because I'm obsessed with him. So you have to look at your Facebook page like you are a celebrity. So, um, let's see here. I wanted to know what he was having for dinner. I wanted to know what he did for fun. Did he like to surf? Did he like to, um, did he like to eat Chinese or was he into Mexican? I want to know if he if he's going out with his friends. I want to know that he's what he's doing, right? What kind of cologne does he wear? Um, yeah, I might be a little obsessed. Back then I was. Um, what kind of Nikes does he like? Where does where is his favorite place to shop for clothes, right? Does he like Costco? Does he ever go to Walmart? I don't know, right? These are just examples. Your Facebook page needs to be like you're a celebrity and people really want to know what's going on in your life. They're, they're going to get intrigued by you, by your workout posts and things like that. And they're going to want to know, well, I wonder what she eats for lunch every day. Or I wonder what she eats for dinner or supper. What does she eat for breakfast? How does they make their Shakeology? Um, what kind of car do they drive? So you need to do a motivational morning post. It's a it's a no-brainer. You need to motivate people every morning, right? You need to do a workout picture, guys, every single day, okay? This is part of our business. If you're not posting a workout picture, people, we can talk all day long, but people are just not going to believe you. They're just not. They have to see. If you think about it, social media, most of our friends are not from probably around you. So they have to see that, yeah, she's actually doing it. Yeah, she's getting results. Or they're not going to... Um, they're, they're not gonna get it. They wanna see pictures, right? It's like a magazine. Your Facebook page should be like a big magazine and you open it up and it's all colorful of awesome pictures of you. You just got your workout in. Yep, you're driving to Starbucks, you want a coffee. You got your cool shades on, take a picture. But no matter what, add value to your post, okay? Because when I used to post, I used to take an after workout picture, but I would not really necessarily add value to that post. I would just, be, just finish my workout. But now I try to add value to my post. So make sure you're adding value to your post. Um, if things aren't working for you, change it up. Like to, if, you're, if you use um, some kind of app and it's just not working, do something different, right? This is all about figuring things out, what's gonna work for you. Don't do your special posts, like for your next challenge group coming up, clean eating group, whatever. Do those at a time when people are actually gonna see them, which for me, it's like nine o'clock at night or a little bit later. So people wanna be intrigued with you. They're intrigued with your life. Like, are you doing a training video like I am right now? I just took a picture of myself and put it on Facebook. When you get on a team Zoom, take a picture and talk about how you are getting on a team call. Um, you know, maybe you're gonna go buy you some new Nikes. Share it. People wanna know what you're doing, okay? Um, and really guys, this business is about branding yourself, okay? Don't hide behind Shakeology. Don't hide behind the products. This is one of the biggest mistakes people make and one of the one of the biggest reasons why people struggle is because they do not brand themselves. They are not sharing their life, okay? Yeah, it was hard for me to talk about anxiety. It was hard for me to talk about depression. It was hard for me to talk about those things. It was hard for me to talk about a recent, um, you know, some recent problems that I've had that most of you guys know. I didn't really say a whole lot about that on Facebook, but I let it be known that I was struggling with a few things. Um, yeah, that stuff's hard, but that stuff is how people are gonna relate to you. Are you a college student that's struggling? Um, are you a mom who is just busy, 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 busy? Um, 
are you, um, me and Lauren were talking about this the other day, her, um, fertility, you need to be talking about that, going to the doctor, uh, what kind of things are you going through? You have to tell your story. So it's like maybe one post about your workout a day. That's it. But the rest needs to be about your journey and your life. And maybe you have a boat and you're going boating and you're, you and your husband are going boating, right? And you have an awesome bikini on. Take a picture of it. Talk about how you love living on the ocean and how you guys have this boat and it's awesome. Talk about that. Um, just got to talk about your life. So if you guys struggle with this, think back at your favorite celebrity or somebody mentor right somebody that you have followed um and you might have to go back younger i don't know if like for me i'm thinking i'm really um not really don't really have a celebrity that i'm like crazy about but when i was younger i was crazy about new kids on the block and i wanted to know everything about them so kardashians like that's why they have reality shows guys because people want to know about the celebrity and so look at your business and your Facebook page as you are a celebrity and it's this beautiful magazine and if you would go to this if I was to open your Facebook page would you be intrigued by what you've seen don't give it all out though guys just a little bit like jabs right so you don't have to give out everything because you want people to keep coming back to you and wondering what is she gonna say tomorrow what what is she gonna post tomorrow morning so absolutely and the posting the three to five times a day I there's been times I posted too much I know that but I do not let people forget what I do I will absolutely not if you are not on social media and you're not posting three to five times a day people are just gonna forget because they are they got lives but if you're constantly right there they're never ever gonna forget Okay, I'm right here for you guys. If there's somebody else coming my way, um, I keep getting, inter and keep getting interrupted. But anyways, I hope this helps. If not, I'll go into much better detail later. All right, talk to you later.